Hey everyone and welcome back to What After Dentistry. I'm Dr. Shireen Saini and we are covering the compilation series of What After BTS. This is part three of the series. I hope that our previous video was helpful to all those who want to practice dentistry and refine their clinical skills ahead. But if you are someone who has op decided to opt for a non-clinical path, then today's video is for you. As of now, we are all aware of courses like MHA, MPH, MBA in Hospital Management, Forensic Odontology, Clinical Research, and General MBA as the most common non-clinical career options. But what if I tell you that there are numerous non-clinical pathways from which you can choose? As they say, the sky is the limit. If you want to know about all the possibilities, Stay tuned and watch the video until the end. Before proceeding, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. As I said earlier, non-clinical options have no limit as such. You can pursue whatever you want after BTS. And again, this also depends on your area of interest. We can broadly classify non-clinical courses as healthcare and non-healthcare in nature. Let's talk about healthcare-oriented non-clinical courses. As you can see, these are the most common and opted course options in healthcare after BTS. We already know about MBA in Hospital Management, Master of Hospital Administration, Master of Public Health, which is MPH, Postgraduate Diploma in Health Informatics or Master of Science in Health Informatics. These are the most commonly opted you know, non-clinical pathways that we know of. We also know of MSc in Forensic Odontology. We have covered these, uh, you know, these courses or these pathways in our previous videos. The links to these videos will be mentioned in the description for your reference. Apart from these ones that we already know of, one can pursue MSc in Oral Biology and Sciences as well. Master of Science in Dental Materials, Master of Science in Research in Life Sciences, Stem Cell Technology and Regenerative Biology, Master of Science in Bioinformatics, in Genome Engineering and Dental Genetics. Now, all these courses that I have talked of, these are applicable or these are available in various universities, one of which is well-known university or college, which is MAHE. So in MAHE, if you go, you can find all these courses. And for all these courses, uh, the eligibility criteria, they have BDS as one of the options. So if you're someone who, you know, who is more interested in Master of Science Oral Biology and want to understand how or what is the biology involved in the oral health, that is where this particular field is going to talk about. Dental Material Sciences is one of the specializations or it is a part of biomaterials or biomedical material science. Uh, so on a broader scale, that's the field. And if you want to, you know, dwell into or specialize as a dental material science specialist, one can do that as well. So we have an, a video coming up into this space where we are going to talk about biomedical material science, the, you know, relevance and the importance of uh, doing this uh, particular field and what is the, uh, what are the opportunities you know, uh, available. So this is one of the videos that we have recently covered and I'm going to post after we complete the series. Um, so once either you can do this, which is a broader term, and then you can specialize as a dental material science, or you can directly basically, uh, you know, uh, do this course, which is uh, available for uh, BDS as a BDS graduate. Coming to the research in life sciences, this will open up your revenues in clinical research and pharmacovigilance in various other aspects of life sciences research if you want to get into specifically into the research area. Stem cell technology and regenerative virology, again, it's a very upcoming field. Uh, there is a lot of uh, talks that go on into this zone and uh, as a BDS, you are eligible to, to pursue this course. Uh, bioinformatics is a part of health informatics, so it's basically a part of the digital health space that we have. Uh, it's a huge term, digital health, which has all these, you know, uh, various fields within it, like health informatics is one, bioinformatics is one. So this is more on the genomics that it talks about. And dental genetics is one of the upcoming branches. 
this is not a master course though you have i think a diploma course which is of 6 months or something like that we have covered this topic uh, with uh, the industry expert dr gargi roy goswami she is the person who has basically she's got the genetics and the de- dental part together merged the two fields and came up with this field as dental genetics so this also we have covered and in upcoming uh, videos you are going to uh, see the opportunities that lies into this field so if you want to know more about uh, the about these courses what are the opportunities that one can uh, you know one can explore after pursuing any of these courses let us know in the comment section we will create a separate video on that altogether so these are some of the healthcare courses after bds in india which you can do where the eligibility is uh, you know as a bds you can join in you can also pursue course in forensic science so uh, you know this is a broader uh, broader area to explore uh, when you do uh, msc in forensic odontology this is more specific to the uh, to the dental or to the oral cavity but this is when we talk about forensic science this is again a broader uh, aspect so it it involves it's it's an at a larger scale basically you can do so this also you can do from the gujarat university so apart from these courses that we have just seen you can also do uh, or pursue courses in yoga therapy diet and nutrition psychology etc these courses will help you to work as per your schedule and easily maintain work life balance um and we know that you know yoga right now diet and nutrition health and fitness zones are very very popular they are very booming zone right now so as a healthcare professional who has the knowledge of how the body physiology works uh it it's i think one of the best options that you can do if if you want to get into that zone so now moving ahead with non healthcare courses that you can pursue now apart from these non healthcare courses you need to understand that when you have decided as a as a healthcare or as a dental graduate when you've decided not to stick to healthcare then you have ample scope you can do anything that you want but just to make you aware of the most common opted options we have added this slide you can pursue a general mba degree in your area of interest like marketing insurance finance etc nowadays many dentists are also opting for digital marketing as a career so uh, instead of you know just doing the general mba you just do a small course which is of like a six month course in digital marketing and you can start with you know uh, marketing or you can basically work as a marketing consultant in the digital space so that's also uh, one of the options and healthcare marketing especially right now is gaining quite a popularity and hence learning the skills of digital marketing will definitely help you to gain an edge you can also use the learning in growing your own practice if you have so i think this this is one of the booming space that we have right now especially after pandemic it has just increased we you know many folds then the other is appearing for civil services examination is another great option if you are willing to um, so many of the bds graduates we know uh, who have cleared civil services and they are really doing well um in this space but then again you need lot of hard work patience and you know persistence consistency to make sure that you crack the examinations uh studying law is another uh, a good option so you can basically study the law and apply concepts in healthcare uh that's another good option to do we don't have very specialized people into this zone so uh you know who who know the in and out of healthcare how the healthcare industry works and at the same time they know the legal aspects involved so you can also once you basically work or you do this uh uh you know course in law you can actually start working as a medical legal consultant with various hospitals or healthcare organizations this is another good space to work into which is data science so again you do a data science uh, course and if you want you can amalgamate it within the healthcare space so there are a lot of healthcare organizations that are working into data analytics so they have since the day, healthcare data is huge uh, and now it's most of the things especially you know outside india are being captured on electronic terms we have electronic platforms and hence the we have a good influx of data so data is uh, it's it's like uh, the next booming market that we see 
so it's again a very promising field and uh, you can you you would need inclination to learn and understand everything about data collection data cleaning analysis and interpretation concepts when you work into data science this will also require you to learn some basic programming languages like to start off with one is sql uh, the other is r programming then um, if you want to learn more you can also learn uh, python as one of the you know uh, one of the languages so yeah these are some of the languages you might be required but to start off with you should at least know the sql you know the basics of sql so that's what is involved in data science then you have general economics as one of the option this is also a good option many people are doing this economics is a you know this basically will involve uh, when you when you basically work or you pursue this course uh, whether you are a medical graduate or a dental graduate they generally persuade because they want to specialize into health economics so you you should know how the economics you know they work uh, and then you can basically specialize as a health economics and you can work with organizations like who unicef um uh, as a consultant and also in academics upon depending upon the uh, interest that you have once you pursue this course so these are some very very commonly opted non healthcare options but as i mentioned um when you decide that you want to you know not work into the healthcare zone then you can do masters in any of the fields as per your area of interest and of course you need to check out whether in certain areas they you, you they might not allow you since you are the the eligible you might not be covering or you might not be a part of that eligibility criteria but if you keep trying somewhere or the other you will definitely get through so yes these are certain courses now both the courses whether you go with healthcare or non healthcare you can choose to pursue either from india or abroad but choose wisely in terms of the syllabus that is covered the industry exposure that is provided is there any placement uh, assistance provided or not some majorly when you go outside uh, india uh, to pursue these courses you might not be given a placement assistance as it is given in india but they make sure that you have a good you know industry exposure you have uh, timely internships that you will be doing which will help you to get a opportunity now if you are someone who who is interested to know that what factors you should keep in mind while choosing a university or a college then please let us know in the comments below i will i will create a video on that as well and uh, let you know about the factors that one should consider So yeah that's all for today and i hope this video will help you to decide on the non clinical pathways you can pursue after bgs just to compile everything up these are the healthcare courses that you can opt for and if you are someone who wants to get into the non healthcare zone after bgs these are the common options that are available so that's it and we will be coming up with the fourth part of the series where we are going to talk about the possible ways of earning right after bts emphasizing on the non clinical options so stay tuned don't forget to like and share the video because this might help out people who are uh, you know who are deciding or who want to get into the non clinical pathway after bts please subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss out on any uh, important information or you know the videos that we will be posting and hit the bell bell icon before i end today's video i would like to bring this to your notice that we have started health informatics foundational course which is completely a self paced learning program through whatsapp and it's one of the first whatsapp class in healthcare we already have our first batch running and we will be starting the second batch in last week of july so if you guys are interested in understanding or if you want to know more about what this course has to offer then please reach out to us on our mail id or on the number that has been flashed on the screen so if you think that the information was relevant to you and it made sense please please give us a like i'll see you in the next video until then bye and good luck